Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Blaze exclusive podcast. I'm joined here by uh, Creeper Dude eighty nine. He's a YouTuber with oh nine hundred forty forty. Oh, a bit off. Still a lot though. Uh, welcome to the podcast. Thanks for popping by. I mean, thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, thank you. Actually, um, I've known you for a bit of time. I think it's the first time I've actually like talked with you kind of in a yeah i don't really talk to anyone outside of like flight reviews and stuff yeah well uh recently i did do some stuff with you for the s a f r a second annual flight Safra. review awards Safra. Safra. that's how it's pronounced Safra. yeah honestly yeah. i enjoyed that event i watched like a majority of the i was in one of them actually i uh, yeah top five airlines and even before that, you reviewed my airline multiple times before it closed yep. down. Uh, when you started YouTube in uh, 2018, did you ever expect to have 945 subscribers today with over 225,000 views? 227,000 plus views. To be honest, I only did YouTube as like a hobby, and I still am. But I never expected to take the route that I take like i've taken like i have like if you go back to like when the um back in like summer tw- of the of 2020 like you could just see how my content like shifted like out of nowhere like i used to make like school bus videos and then i immediately switched to row aviation videos it's it's, it's kind of weird yeah i mean aviation has i mean you you've experienced it i mean it, it's it's been a, a very weird kind of community recently i i don't know if yeah. you have any opinions on that you know kind of the yeah i kind of distance myself from the drama i don't want to get cut up caught up in all that i think that's why i left just it's it's because it, it just got to the point where it was like on a daily basis where groups and stuff just were always there was always like an exposure document i don't know yeah like you said you kind of just yeah uh, yeah i've seen that yeah um yeah so are you planning on doing more flight reviews that's just one thing i want to drop out there uh yeah about that um right now like as of right now i don't have any plans to make a flight review season five only because flight review season four uploading every single week it's was a, a pain it was a pain and it's every saturday like flight review season four that took six months just for that one season yeah it, it's kind and, of youtube's a weird thing you, like people are when you watch those you know like we edit out so much of the videos like it's insane like some of your videos are like five minutes long but in reality, you have to sit there for like an hour of the flight and yeah. you cut out. Editing just takes hours on end. You know? Yeah, the the finale of Safra, it's it looks it's only thirty six minutes long, but it took seven hours to render. Yeah, it's insane how much these like content creators put into their their channels. Yeah, I, I would also just like to say, also admire the people that do subtitles in movies and videos anything yeah. subtitles are such a pain you know there's some editors that like i'm pretty sure they actually do them for you i'm not positive on that i think i've seen that before but i don't know if, if you do subtitles i i, I like i i honor you bro like yeah. i'm <laughs> doing subtitles it adds another like hour to your editing mm-hmm. yeah um during the um safra what were your kind of how did you think it was gonna go? I mean, I mean, obviously there were a couple airlines where I I knew they were gonna make the top ten, like Icelandia, <laughs> um, Scottish Connect, Midwestern, Ascend. I, I wouldn't say Midwestern. I wouldn't say Midwestern. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I I think I also um put out the what do you call it the amount of votes each airline got in week one, but I haven't. I didn't do it since because, like, if people noticed that one airline got set, like, X amount of votes, they would target, they would, like, vote for another airline so that airline wouldn't make it in. So, like, let's say airline one got 
like let's just say 40 votes and then people from another airline let's say airline two didn't like that so they would get more people to vote for their airline and yeah even though airline one may be more popular and better the second airline they like landslided the vote i guess you could call it yeah i actually uh i don't know if i knew you back then it was a few years ago i ran a an award show for radiation it's called the arrow awards i actually got my name stolen by a group called Aeronus. Which the owner oh, Warpin Warpin scammed yeah, the I, entire I, community. I I heard about that. Yeah, I actually purchased at least five thousand robux of their planes. What? I, I was kind of disappointed in my. <laughs> do, do you don't yeah. you don't want to know how much money I spent on it, Western? Yeah, I I only joined the row technically joined the row aviation community in late twenty twenty. That was so. Mine was at the beginning, around. Oh, uh, actually, mid twenty twenty. So I think you missed the awards. Yeah, I I sure I I did miss it. But when I was looking like really early on, when I was just like trying to find planes just to mess around with, I saw Aeronus. I'm but I'm like their their Discord group like doesn't work anymore, and and then I see all these like not like leaked but like exposing videos about them. So I'm like, oh. I was there for everything. So I actually made the name. So I actually, there's a, a huge backstory to the Arrow Awards. So I found a group with no owner, right? Yeah. And apparently it was this dude that was like, kind of like a ripoff of my friend. And it was like, he was, ba- his, well, it wasn't a ripoff. I, I shouldn't say that. I'm not going to get into that part. But <laughs> so basically he DM'd me. And he saw my awards, and he was like, bro, why are you stealing my group, and all that. And I just completely ignored him, because he's the one who left the group free. And fast forward a few months later, we still haven't done, like, anything. We made nominations, but they weren't, like, set in. And we finally announced the show date, and we did it, right? And then Aronis comes in a week before the show, right? And they are getting all these, like, streaming services, like, basically, on YouTube channels, like um all those things to film and it's the biggest event of all time or like competing with the av awards basically i don't know if you know what those are but um and the name was the arrow Awards. so i got oh. so much hate from the community <laughs> telling me like oh my gosh you're stealing the names and if they just look at the discord server when it was created they would have <laughs> or when the event was originally we yeah, actually. That's the thing. Yep, sorry. No, you can go. You can go. We 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 actually started. No one was actually planning on doing awards for all of 2020 a- after the AV awards, because partially because we all knew kind of that <laughs> that the AV awards just that's all the awards we needed for the year. Like they already had the recognition. Yeah. They already had the. Uh, people to upload in and all that stuff but i was the first person to step up after them and i kind of started a chain actually a chain effect or <laughs> whatever you want to call it after i started mine there were at least 10 more oh. <laughs> it was it was kind of weird but like 10 more award shows that finally they announced that they were doing it just because we started ours it was it was a in 2020. I mean, like, I would consider that as, like, um, an achievement. Like, getting, I mean, not, I mean, did they, re- like, copy you in any way? Or is it just, like, in- like they were inspired? I think they were inspired. I think this one group was copying us. It was called the Row Aviation Awards. I go way back with the dude. We went back and forth. Oh. <laughs> I actually, you oh, we're just ex- exposing them. All right. Oh no, no, not exposing. Well, I actually, I actually screwed up myself. In fact, I can say this now because I'm not doing the award show ever again, probably. But <laughs> I copied their logo, actually, just because he was annoying me to the point where it was like, you know, it was just an A in a black background. <laughs> and I, oh. I just made it the same kind of different colors, and that was it for the Discord. And, and then, well, I didn't necessarily copy it. It was very similar, though. <laughs> Different font. It was kind of... <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> yes, the, the font. Uh-huh. The font always makes it better. Yep. 
<laughs> you probably shouldn't be saying this on stream. But, um... <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, I might be getting this wrong. It was either they copied me or I copied them. I, I totally forgot. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't that even was matter two right. years ago. Yeah. And oh then, yeah, ours was successful. We had someone streaming it, and yeah. Nice. But yeah, that was just something that was completely unnecessary to talk about. <laughs> yeah. So, in your future, do you always plan on just doing Roblox content for. No. No. I'm, I'm just saying that straight off the bat. Um, I don't plan on doing YouTube. Pretty much after I graduate high school. At Which, all. At all. Like I, I don't like I'm only doing it as a hobby. I don't really plan on doing YouTube as my actual career. As an actual career. But would you yeah, ever consider I, it as a side job? I know that's kind of a lot to manage, but Yeah, like like obviously having two jobs, it's it's definitely a hassle, especially like it um if you're in school and all that, you're you're focusing on your classes and stuff and doing something on the side, which obviously it'll be difficult. I mean it'll be pretty cool to do YouTube on the side, but like we've both said, editing takes forever. For even a five minute video, it takes like thirty minutes. And then plus the yeah. time to render. Which so is like an hour. it's that it, it, Yeah. So it'll definitely be a hassle. Yeah. But I don't really see myself doing YouTube past high school. Yeah. Which I I don't know. It's really difficult to say how many years I'll be done with high school. But, um, yeah. I'll just say that. For anyone looking to start a channel that's watching this, it's, it takes a lot of work. Like, it's... Especially if you're trying to do it full-time as, like, a job... I don't plan on doing that. I, it clearly, the creeper doesn't matter. Yeah. It's you have to upload on a daily basis. You have to have multiple social platforms to advertise, and it's a hassle. Like, start at a younger age, but yeah. but start if, at like at the right age, say you're mature enough to do it. <laughs> Which I still don't think yeah. I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I would say, um, know what you want to do and be consistent. Like, don't let others influence you. Like, if your friends say, oh my god, your videos are bad, just ignore them and just keep doing what you're doing. If you enjoy it, then other people are going to enjoy it too. Yeah. And always be consistent. Um, let me tell you, the first two flight review seasons, I would say, I uploaded them at random times, which obviously is kind of bad because your audience won't know when the next video is out. So... Flight Review Season 3, I, I uploaded every single day, which I was a that. pain. That was a pain, but I didn't talk, so I didn't have to like edit it. Yeah. But I just had to speed up the video. But now you do but, talk. So yeah, that, now I do talk. So. so I had to extend that to a week uh, every Saturday at 2 p.m. So n my audience knows the video will be out on Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, or that's, I think, a 10 something in pacific or whatever but always be consistent i would definitely say that so your audience knows what time your videos come out i've just realized my right headset ear is not working <laughs> okay unnecessary again i apologize um so so you're taking your pause on on row aviation and i you know i already asked this i apologize um I see you kind of upload some, in a sense, real life content, with the Super Bowl and some stuff. Yeah. Do you plan so, on doing more? Just I, 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 I see those videos getting a lot more views on my channel specifically. I've gotten thousands of yeah, YouTube shorts. Yeah. 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 So, um, like yeah, let's say the Super Bowl, right? I only uploaded that because it was like um. A topic that everyone was talking about at and that you time. You played it smart there, honestly. I think yeah. after a huge event happens, like for example, you could use Coachella if you wanted as an event. You upload a few shorts on yeah. Coachella or some huge name. Like I did a one of Logan Paul and Eminem. The worst quality video in the world still got 1.4k views. No effort at all. Took me five seconds. <laughs> then yeah, Ronaldo, but... Yeah, if you are doing that, though, I wouldn't say dedicate fully 
to just uploading major events, though. Yeah. Because like, if you, let's say for, uh, let's just say Coachella, for example, if you upload that for about a week, your audience are that like subscribe to you and get you that many views are gonna come back to see more Coachella videos. But then they realize you're uploading Minecraft videos. So they're like, what? Like they're gonna be like, why is he or she uploading this now? My content so like, is scattered. If you check my channel right now, <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you brought Minecraft back though. That was fun. Yeah, it's been a few weeks. Oh my days, it's been three weeks since yeah. I last. I got bored of it to be honest. I, I kind of, I feel like my lack of experience in Minecraft is. Yeah, I, I, I know what you're talking about. Like I play Minecraft, I could play for play for at least thirty minutes, but after that, I don't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> I get all suited up in iron armor, and I'm ready to go to the Nether. After that, I don't know what to do. Like, what do I like? They added, especially that they added like biomes and stuff. I'm like, um, do I kill this person? But then I realized it's a pigment, and I'm getting chased by a whole army. Yeah. So yeah. It's I, always. I just need to know how to play the game. I got the basics down, but after that, after the nether, I have no idea what to do. Yeah, I feel like I need to focus myself on one thing, and I know it's kind of it's kind of hard for me to do that since I like. Is if anything, I might just make other channels for my my wrestling group and that, and I'll just put a, my tracks yeah in Valorant. <laughs> About other channels, I did the exact same thing, and I I'll, see that. Um, I see that. I Minecraft. made another channel just for just for Minecraft videos. I uploaded one video and that was it. It's called Creeper I have not View. Yeah, the 89's gone and the E is still there between the PNR. But um new video yeah. on Saturdays. Yeah, that nine the last ago. video <laughs> 9 months I think that was in July, July 2021. After I I I was that I thought that was going to be pretty good and I thought I was eventually going to move over to that channel like as my main channel. I uploaded one video. We have 15 subscribers I, with one video, 94 views. Yeah, I lost all motivation for that and Minecraft, so. Oh, well. However, I do want to upload more Minecraft videos, though. I, I think what people fail to realize a lot is the fact that there's so much things you can make content on. And when people fail at something the first time, they don't try and do it again. I'm not saying this is directed towards you. I'm saying, like, when I started making these, like, I, I, I'm not going to get into that, actually. I made these, like, review videos for, like, Legos, like, t five years ago when I was, like, eight. <laughs> and, Ugh. um, I don't know, I, I just didn't like them. So I stopped, and I made gaming videos, and it just didn't... <laughs> I, I don't know how I can... Yeah, if if you genuinely enjoy what you're uploading, but it's not getting many views, just keep uploading just it. Just keep doing it. Yeah, that's right. Just I'm keep saying. doing it, even if like it's getting five views, and like you're like you expected it to get, let's say, fifty views. Just keep uploading. Like you yeah. just keep keep going. Just just don't stop. There's always content that's gonna get out to people. There's always people that want to watch that content, and even if it's a small thing, and one day it might even blow up, and you'll yeah, even you'll be that if center. it. Center yeah, like even if it's a one percent chance of getting on someone's recommended, it's not zero. Exactly. So like, there's always a chance. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> uh, let me just go back to the real life videos because I do have some something to say about that. Oh sure. Um. Yeah. So like the Super Bowl, I only uploaded that because it was um, like a big topic everything everyone was talking about it so that's how you can easily gain views but obviously don't div like do that all the time like switch topics immediately i only did that just because it was like a big thing that was going on but however i do have something else i'm going to live stream that is more of a real life like video i don't really upload real life videos of like major events that are going on but like every now and then, yeah. But other than that, like I do have a a live stream planned for Fourth of July and New Year's Eve. But that's pretty much it. Well, that's gonna be cool on some holidays and special days yeah. of the year. You can rack up some views with that. I mean, 
You already you already know the YouTube algorithm. You have two hundred and thirty thousand views almost. I mean, <laughs> you've you beat the system, tough. man. You've beat the system. I think I have like almost thirty thousand. I'm not too sure. Twenty seven thousand. I have exactly two hundred thousand less than you. So you beat the system. <laughs> two hundred thousand le- less. Okay, that does, that's not terrifying at all. <laughs> well, then I have. Yeah, you've beat the system. I don't know what else to talk about. <laughs> to be completely yeah. honest. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. Thank you, Peter, right. for joining me today. Yeah, no problem. On this first exclusive podcast for the Blaze Network. Uh, it was amazing to have you here. Glad to be here. Yeah, and best of luck. All his um cha- channels, socials will all be linked in the description of this video. Go check him out. Great guy. Great YouTuber. Will this be uploaded on the Tyler Daily YouTube channel? I'm not sure yet. I think I might make a new one for Blaze, just because it's... Alright, so I would just, I would just like... Daily channel. <laughs> Get some daily content. <laughs> <laughs> so, bro, you just sell promo. Okay. I have one message oh, go to free. everyone watching. Feel free. Like and subscribe or else. Oh, oh. Or else. Thank you guys or for else, tuning yes. in to this podcast with Creeper Dude 89 Thanks for joining me today for the podcast. It means the world. Uh, like and sub to whatever channel this is on, and go check it out on the Blaze Network. You can watch it for absolutely free there. Supports the network. Join the network Discord. Socials, follow us, blah, 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 all that stuff. Link in the description, as well as Creepers. Socials. Thank you guys for tuning in. See you all next time. Peace out, everybody.